Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and on this channel we talk all things home decor, home aesthetics, mixing high and low with new and old. And in today's video, I'm gonna be restyling my kitchen. So if this is something you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. I absolutely love restyling different areas throughout my space. I think this is a really fun way to not only bring different elements that maybe I haven't used in a while, but for me, redecorating, restyling my home is really therapeutic. So I have cleaned all of the items from my kitchen. I'm gonna be bringing new items to my kitchen countertops, kind of giving it a fresh new look. I've talked about this on my channel before. Simply, if you take elements from different areas throughout your home and put them in different spaces, it will make your home feel so much better. So within this video, almost every single item I've already owned and I'm just restyling it in a different way to make my kitchen feel a little bit more fresh and up to date. So I hope you guys enjoy, hopefully get some inspiration if you are decorating your kitchen. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first area we're gonna be focusing on is the side next to my stove. This is where I use all of my utensils and my essentials when it comes to cooking. This is a vintage riser that I got at a shopping uh, kind of pop-up shop here in San Diego and I just love the organicness to it. It's not supposed to be perfect. It's got a lot of wear and tear. I'm going to be putting this to the right side of my stove. Next item is my utensil crock. This is just a vintage kind of worn pot with all of my essential utensils in there, wooden tongs. I love mixing different materials. So I got these on my Amazon Lux for Less. They have a really beautiful brass handle with a white silicone top, but I just love mixing textures and different elements. Kind of, again, that old with new. So I'm just gonna place that right on top. Next items I'm gonna be adding are my olive oil decanter. I purchased this on Amazon and I just love its kind of hourglass shape. Obviously a very good staple when it comes to cooking in your kitchen. And then next I'm gonna be adding in this really fun vintage marble mortar with some of my garlic just for a grab and go when it comes to my cooking. So I kind of have this little moment here that are my essentials when it comes to cooking on a daily basis. We are shifting gears to the left side of my stove and I'm gonna be bringing in this really fun piece of artwork. So I've had the frame, this is from Home Goods, and then I found a seller on Amazon, antique inspired prints. This didn't come frame, so you just get the print itself, but it has a lot of other options to choose from. I really love this one just because I love florals and this is kind of spring related, but it's kind of in an edgy and moody way. So I'm gonna just place this on the backsplash. Adding in my spoon rest, I typically will have my spoon rest just on the center burner. This is a burner that I don't typically use. To be honest, the only burners that I use on a daily basis are more of the right side just because they're more powerful. So I typically would just have my spoon rest there. So if you don't want to clutter maybe the sides of your stove, having it placed in the center is a really great option to kind of relieve space. Now the next item, if you guys would have caught my YouTube short, I showcased this really cool piece as a cookbook holder. So this is considered a vintage trug or a scoop. I've seen it described two different ways, but I thought it would be really cool to utilize it as a cooking book holder. I have another one upstairs that I have showcased like this with beads hanging off of it. But I was looking at this the other day and I'm like, this could be a really cool way to showcase cooking books. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have this kind of at an angle and then to have them upright, I am gonna stuff a little towel behind them so they stand upright. So you guys will see when I lay them back, they like lay really far back, which is not a problem, but to kind of elevate them, I'm taking this really small little towel and just placing it behind as a way to make the books stand upright. And from the front, you can't see it at all. I just have it tucked farther back down below. Again, just kind of elevating them that much more. The next essential item we're gonna be adding to my countertops are my beloved pepper mill grinders. I love these because the warmth and just the character they're they're used, they're not meant to be perfect. I love the different sizes. I love having one that's a little bit taller. They add a lot of warmth to my counters because clearly I have an all white kitchen. It's very stark in here. So wherever I can pull different colors, different tones, it's going to just make my kitchen feel a little bit more cozy versus it feeling a lot more stark. So adding these brass pepper mills just right there to the side of my cooking book holder. Next, we're gonna be adding in this really fun marble ruffle dish. I purchased this on Amazon. This is in a six inch diameter. I love it because it is low profile. You can use these 
dishes for whatever you want. I use this as a way to do a little thing of soap in a spare bathroom as well, but I thought this would be the perfect little salt pinch to add to any kitchen. The last little element we're gonna be adding to this cluster, I'm bringing in a beautiful fresh pot of basil. I do pick from this while I'm cooking. And then this little vase is actually from Joann's. I had my husband drill a hole in the bottom so that way this will be able to drain for a live plant. But I'm just gonna set this little basil bush right there to the left. So the next area moving past my stove is the corner of my kitchen. I hate this area and I know I've had a lot of questions on how do you style the corner of a countertop in a kitchen. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is one of my least favorite areas to style. I think it is very challenging. So typically what I will vert to is just putting my KitchenAid mixer. It takes up that corner, it takes up that space while still showcasing one of my beautiful kitchen appliances. So that's all we're gonna do. Moving to the last corner of my kitchen, I'm going to be adding this cutting board that I purchased from Target a few years ago. I'm gonna be having it at a vertical orientation. The goal is I wanna to try to cover up this outlet as you guys no, I absolutely hate outlets. I know they are essential to a kitchen, but whenever I can mask them with something, whether that's a cutting board or a vase with stems in it, I really try to do so. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be placing a arrangement here to the left of these cutting boards. Next, I'm gonna be adding in just a faux floral arrangement. I got the vase from Ikea, and then I have a few different stems. The Cosmos are from Amazon, and then I have Italian Ruscus and the Asparagus Bush combined to have this really beautiful muted faux floral arrangement. And then I also did put some water in this vase to make it appear just a little bit more realistic looking, but I love this for spring. I think the colors are really muted and very beautiful. Lots of texture going on. And this is the last element to this corner. And for the other corner that is right next to my stove, I'm gonna be adding my knife block. Obviously essential when it comes to a kitchen, so there's nothing really special about this, but just kind of taking up space in this last corner of my kitchen. All right, this last little nook to my kitchen countertops is kind of a weird space. I've tried putting my Keurig here. I've also tried putting fruit bowls, but I decided to do something a little bit different. We are gonna be starting with this wooden cutting board. I use this for display only. I love the shape of it and I love the leather detailing. Here's that outlet again, so I'm gonna be trying to hide this. So I'm just gonna have this downwards, right in front of the outlet. All right, so the next item that is unexpected and totally different for a kitchen. I was at Target the other day and I came across this really fun little arched mirror. I'm trying not to show you guys too much of yourself, but I came across this really miniature arched brass mirror and I thought, why can't you have a mirror in a kitchen as a backsplash decor element. So we're trying something different. So I'm gonna actually layer that on the cutting board as if it was another cutting board. Next decor, we are gonna be bringing in this really fun little lamp. This is from Target. I, I switched out the original shade for this really beautiful pleated shade just for some extra visual interest. Plus the shade that came with this lamp was rather big for my kitchen. So I just downsized it a little bit and I'm gonna just put a rechargeable light bulb in there. If you don't have these in your life, you definitely need them. So I'm just gonna place this inside the lamp. Next, I'm gonna add this really fun vintage bowl. This is a really cool solid marble dish. It does have kind of this diamond shaped on the corners. We got this at a vintage shop here in San Diego that is no longer open, but I'm going to be putting some fresh limes in this for some extra added color. Next, we're gonna be adding in this really beautiful elongated wicker tray. It does have leather detailing here on the handle portion of it. I picked this up from Target last summer for uh, actually Sway's birthday party. We lined this whole thing with different snacks for the kids, and it's been a really fun little tray, especially for entertaining, but I've never used it on my island, so Let's get to it. I'm gonna be adding two coffee table books. I have the new Southern Style and Magnolia table. I'm gonna be honest, these are 100% just for decor. I'm gonna be utilizing these books to help elevate one of my vases. So I'm just going to stick those, actually, I'm gonna stick those at a vertical. So if you guys see, that's what it looks like, vertical tucked in there, and then I'm just gonna place my vase right on top. We're gonna be bringing in this beautiful vintage glazed pot. I love it because black is just such a staple here in my home. I, I love styling with contrasting colors. It's just a really great shape and perfect for styling. So I'm gonna have this on top of those books. Next, I picked these olive branches from my garden outside. I have a beautiful olive tree in the front of my home, so we're just gonna be placing those in some water. So I'm just taking a basic glass vase and then gonna fill it up with some water so that way these stems can actually thrive on my kitchen island.
And then the last element to this wicker tray centerpiece, I'm gonna be bringing in this beautiful terracotta dish that I got from my sister's shop. It is nice and low profile. I love it because this is in a lighter color. So we are definitely working with different textures and colors. We have the terracotta that is in a cream color. We have the warmth, which is our texture through the wicker. And then we're also bringing in that black glaze finish. So we're working with a lot of different color hues, which adds for a really visually interesting style. So for the last portion, we are gonna be bringing in just these really beautiful artichokes. We are gonna be utilizing these for dinner this week, so I figured why not showcase them on my kitchen island for this video. And then once these are used, I will probably replace those with maybe a lemon or a lime, something that's gonna bring color, but also add as some visual interest and something that we can utilize and eat on a daily basis. So that's the last element. I hope you enjoyed coming along into my kitchen for this refresh restyle with me for my kitchen but until next time I love you guys so much thank you for being here and we'll see you guys in my next video peace